Hey there, Adam here. Today I want to show you how to summarize a YouTube video. So let's just say you want to use ChatGPT to summarize a YouTube video so that you can put it inside of Obsidian or Notion or somewhere else. So we're, it's going to be a two-step process. First, we're going to uh, take the video and transcribe it. Then we're going to take the transcription of the video and tell ChatGPT to give us a summary. So I'm going to use one of my videos. This was showing the, the alpha access first look at the uh, internet connected chat GPT. So I'm going to do a summary of this video, alpha access first look. So to do that, first you're gonna download the video. So I'm just gonna use some random one tool. This, this one's always worked okay for me. Download it as, I don't care. It, it doesn't matter because all you need really need is the audio. So I'm just gonna download 360p. Hey there, good evening. Pause it. Save video. And we'll just save it in our downloads. YouTube video. All right. So now I'm going to take that YouTube video and I'm going to put it into Fireflies. Give me one second to log in. All right. So now we're inside of Fireflies. And uh, you could also use Whisper AI, which is the free version of it. And you can use this to make a transcription. I'm going to use Fireflies because I use this for work. I really like this tool. So I'm just going to copy and paste that YouTube video in here. It's going to upload. And then in a couple minutes, we're going to have a transcript. So I'll be back here once the transcript finishes. All right. So as you can see, it is done. So I'm going to click on this. And you're going to actually see that uh, this tool has... It's own built-in summary, but we're not going to use this. So we're just going to download the transcript. So download transcript. I'm just going to download it as a docx. Make it easy to copy and paste. Download. And then it'll be done in a second. And then I can open up the Word document. Again, the free way to make a transcript would be using something like Whisper AI. So now you'll see that I have the transcript for the video. And it actually has timestamps, but we don't really care about the timestamps. So we're just going to copy paste it. See, it's 2,000 words. And then we're going to... I, I have a prompt for this. So actually, let's do the prompt first. So we're going to, in the GPT-4, summarize the following transcript of the YouTube video, include all key points, make it detailed. We're going to use it to refresh our memory. And then copy. And I think this won't be too long. We'll see here in a second. All right, there we go. It was not too long. 10 minutes is pretty much a sweet spot. So now you're gonna see that GPT-4 is gonna spit out a summary. Let's see how accurate it is. It's my video, so I'll know how accurate it is. So it's gonna say, experience the browsing alpha. We run through four tests, that's true. So we first we look to see how well I it could find information on Obsidian. And then we used a personal information search to see what it could find on me personally for my work, my, my hobbies, any, any online usernames. Uh, and then news summaries and then content rewriting. This is a completely accurate summary of this YouTube video. Uh, it's per this is sort of funny. Adam finds the browsing alpha version to be scary good. <laughs> he puts that, put that in quotes. That's really funny. I uh, concerns about the potential misuse of the tool, particularly in searching for personal information. Yes, this is this is spot on. This is a very very good summary. And again, this is just a you know this is just a pure transcript. It does it's not even got the right punctuation. It's hey there, good evening, Adam here today. So yeah, it's it's a and again you, you hear me use the word it's. There must be a verbal tick of some sort. Uh, but that's the easiest way to do it. And then. For me personally, I would just copy and paste this into an Obsidian uh, file and then probably just include a link to the video. I, I'll include a link to this video in the description just so you can see how accurate this uh, description was in comparison. So I hope this was helpful. I, you know, this is definitely a great use for something like, like uh, ChatGPT. Yeah, it's not a get-rich-fast scheme, 
it is pure efficiency and document you know and and knowledge storing uh, which is what it's best at I'm, you know i'm getting a little tired of the youtube videos about how to make a million dollars with chat gpt it's not really where it's at or what it's for uh you need to be doing something productive sort of in the background and and bring it into your loop all right thanks bye